What's up, you guys? Welcome to the continuation of the Zelda Oracle series. We just beat Seasons. It's time for ages. Rather than a bright blue sky, we got some sunset orange. But I went ahead and already typed in the password and made a copy of the file, getting Let's Play ready here. Let's see the difference from File 3 sprite. So let's waste no time and carry on. These two again. Onyx, General of Darkness, Twin Rova will not let your death go to waste. Behold, Onyx, the troubles you caused now burn in the flame of destruction. When the flames of sorrow and despair burst into flame, that's redundant, we will offer up the sacrifice, and the dark rites of the Gerudo will be complete. Then the evil king shall return. Got a blue bubble this time instead of red. I always like that. I don't know. There's something. Except for Quest, you taupe, just like the last time. Nah, but uh. Oh, we landed on our feet this time, too. No music. That's unsettling. Help! Intruder. Impa, why are you blue? That was frightening. I was suddenly attacked. Thank you, Traveler. What is your name? You know who the heck I am. We just had a whole holodrum thing. I see a triangle on the back. You're not, mm, something ain't right here. I mean, I guess they gotta do something, right? We gotta find a singer named Nehru. Poor Faror, man. She's just... The old graveyard. Can't pull up the menu. I think we start with a sword. Hey! What a great spot. Such clean air. Now if only time could stop, brother. I'll sit down and talk about that with you forever. Animals Utopia. Can I join? Please? That's it! This rock with the triangle is a sign. Could you move this rock for me, Link? I'll, um, I'll just... Can't do it. Nehru's house, Lina City. Let's go, this is not good. But that music's nice. I have to hear Nehru's song. This bear is chilling on his elbows. I can't hear Nehru sing. Shut up. It actually is kind of nice for Game Boy. Sit here and listen. How charming. Is that the bear telling me to do that? Isn't it enchanting? Yeah. Of the three sister goddesses, goddess sisters, I think Nehru would be the level-headed one. Maybe Furore. You're Hyrule's messengers, aren't you? Impa and Link, right? A bird brought message of your arrival. My name is Ralph. I'm an old friend of Nehru's. We're counting on you. You've come all the way from Hyrule, correct? Pleased to meet you. I'm Nehru. I've been very worried after hearing that Labrina would face many evil troubles. Don't worry, Nehru, I'm here. I'll chase away any beast that comes near you. Sorry, Link, but I doubt we'll need you. I'm sorry, Link. Ralph is always like this when it comes to me. But I feel that something evil is approaching. Just as Ralph claims. Since when do we listen to Ralph? Oh, no. Quit your chuckling. You are correct. Not bad for a diva. Not bad for Nehru, Oracle of Ages. Something terrible will happen right now before your very eyes. Impa, what's happening? Jeez, that's a hat. 
Thank you, Link. You allowed me to pass through the sacred barrier. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. I'm Varen, Sorceress of Shadows. Nehru, Oracle of Ages. I shall make your body my own. Yum, 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 and stuff. What are you doing to Nehru? I'll cut you in two if you don't let her go. Aren't you brave? Turning a sword at me if you caught me. It's Nehru who dies. Nehru is no mere diva. She is the Oracle of Ages who controls time. Now the Oracle's powers are mine. I can travel through time as I choose. Now a new age shall begin, the Age of Darkness. I shall go to the past and do as I please. Man, that would be something, though. That's better than controlling the seasons in terms of real life, practicality, desire, whatever you want to call it. Wait, did her boyfriend just turn into an old man? <laughs> What's happening here? Now, I was reading. I've yet to actually look up anything about... like, walkthrough stuff for this game. But I looked at the reception of both of these games, and they were pretty much on par, like, equal to each other. But people claim to like seasons better. She couldn't touch the stone, so she used you to get in here. Oh yeah, now it's, the blame gets put on us, right? I've known Nehru was the Oracle of Ages since she was a child. I have always been beside her, protecting her. Join our party, son. But now there's Nehru! I'll save you. Yeah, we could do this. Two-player, man. Go RPG style. Turn based attacks and whatever. Oh, Link, you saved me. To think I was possessed. I have failed Zelda. Zelda. She sensed an evil shadow drawing near Nehru and asked me to bring her to Hyrule. We should not have forgotten you, the hero of Hollow Drum. There you go. That's a little bonus text that I guess otherwise would not happen. Look what has happened now. That Varen lady is frightening. No, she's not. I was forced to do her will, in spite of myself. Varen said she'd go back in time. She must hope to use Nehru's powers to launch some plan in the past. Labrina already feels the effects. Link, first hollow drum, now Labrina faces its doom. I'm sorry to ask so much, but we can rely on no other. Please, boy with the triangle. Oh, we got a shield? Wait, do we not have a sword then, does that mean? Go meet the Maku tree, why is there one here too? Nehru's house is in the woods east of here. Uh, that's to the right, okay. I always get east and west confused. We do have a sword. We'll put that on B, let's get back to reality here. Or back to comfort. Let's go visit the house. I think we have four hearts to start, as opposed to three, too, because of the whole continuation. Okay, that's Impa's thing. So what happens if I go up here? Because I would imagine we can't do this. You gotta find the sword if you just start normal. Oh, well you know what, I'm actually kind of glad. Although that looks bombable, doesn't it, that little green patch there. We probably should stick to it as if we didn't have a sword to begin. We gotta put in the ring password, too, and get that red ring going. So, Lina City. Nice, cheerful music. 
I guess there's no shield for sale because we have one already? I actually don't know if that's because we beat the other game and Imp is just like, oh yeah, you deserve this. Oh, here we go. Might as well do it right now, right? Uh, we gotta get the box first, though. I have no use for you now, sir. Red Snake is what we need. Keeper of Ring Secrets, make a choice, so we want to say. There we go, it's put in, and I noticed there's no lowercase k. I have brought your rings from Holodrum, so see Vasu to check your list, okay. Well, we can only carry one because we have the puny box again. There they are! That's pretty cool, man, I like that idea. This is what we want, definitely. And let's equip it, actually, now that we discovered that. In, like, what was it, part 10, I finally figured that out? The Maku tree stands at the far end of this cave. Okay. Oh, that looks definitely, uh... Gasha nut. These signposts, but let's just keep going forward. Well, there we go. Is it a girl this time? Pleased to meet you, young hero. I am the Maku Tree, guardian of Labrina. Varen, sorceress of shadows, has taken Nehru, the Oracle of Ages. She's disrupting, but disrupting the flow of time from the past. She's trying to flood this world with the power of sorrow. We cannot give in to one of impure heart. You must stop Varen, and soon. But to stop her, you'll need something. What's happening? I feel so weird. I'm vanishing. Something must be happening to me in the past. Help! Okay, that's kind of crazy. The Maku Tree? This is more of Varen's work. Link, you've made it. Varen just slept through this time portal. If we go back in time, we should be able to save Nehru and the Maku Tree. I'm coming, Nehru. Welcome to the puke palette. Another one, first that guy with the weird hat appears, then you. Ever since that girl Nehru came, there's been all sorts of weird goings on. <laughs> Here's a guy that never really figures out what's happening. It's like the one dude in the other game. Look at this guy, what the heck? They look like a happy family. I wish I could join them. The Maku tree is a talking tree, but lately she's been bothered by monsters. Eh, we could do something about that. But we can't. The village has been full of rubble ever since work started on that tower. You can't get anywhere without a shovel to clear a path. Alright, who's gonna give it to us? Yeah, the colors are not as exciting. Hit targets, win fabulous prizes. Oh, there's games. Rings, Gasha Seed, don't really care too much. So this game's best ring is gonna be a defense upgrade. I don't know if it's Golden Beast related or not. I have to look that up, I guess. Queen Amby had a boyfriend, a seafaring man, but he set sail one day and never came back. She's building a tall tower so she can search the lands for any sign of his return. It's called Amby's Tower. It was a touching tale. Is this the postman? This isn't good. I want to deliver the mail on time, but I can't do it if I don't know the time. Hmm. Only the darkness can ease my heart. I guess laughing my troubles away is just a dream deferred. Jeez, man. Big words for a little boy. 
It's like Edgar Allan Poe in the making. No, I don't know what it is. Whoops. Yeah, but that's what I read. Critic reception. Okay, it's like eternal daytime for whatever reason here. Um, yeah, these games both were on par, like the same score. It's like a 9.6 or something out of 10 both games got. But then, of course, the fan scores, with like Metacritic or whatever, it's pretty equal there, too, but I was reading that a lot of people said they favor seasons slightly more just because the Game Boy Color really shines. Whereas, like, even looking at this now, I could see that argument clear as day, because this is kind of gloomy. Like, even more so than the fall palette of seasons. Like, that was actually... what? Three games, man! Majora, Skyward Sword, and this? I, I also don't know where I'm going. Why build such a huge thing? It's just work, work, work. Gotta do it while you're young, though. Hey! Oh, what the heck? At first, this tower was being built to guide Queen Ambie's love safely back from the sea. But ever since Nehru came, the sun sits high in the sky as if time itself has stopped. It's not like Queen Ambi to push us so hard. In the village, they've started calling it the Black Tower. Jesus, Lord of the Rings all of a sudden. You can look around, but the construction has some areas closed. If you hang around too much, though, you might get yelled at. I just want a shovel, man. The Black Tower. What, kid? Did you come to help us build? Yeah. Who's giving me a shovel, dude? Ever since that Nehru girl appeared, now we have to work hours on end. What is this with all RPGs and adventure games? Like, how come the people are so oblivious that they can't tell somebody's possessed? I mean, they're blue for crying out loud. You see a blue person, you're like, my god, they're choking. Help. Or... Like, either way, you would analyze further and see what you could do to make them not blue. But then I guess you don't have a story. Like, why does a tiny ring control the fate of every possible living thing in Lord of the Rings? And yet the author claims it's not an allegory or something. I don't trust this dude. It's like the Wizard of Oz. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. There's definitely something there. A digging tool? That's the spirit, Sonny. Yes! There we go. I knew somebody was going to do it. Piece of heart outside comes to mind. Now, this is where Link just single-handedly handedly shovels every possible thing. Saves the day. Does the work of a thousand men. Yeah, but I'm trying not to go into this kind of gloomy. But just like music and video games, I like this color palette, every single color on the screen right now except for Link. It just kind of is like, ugh. You know, just that like groan of, I don't know that I like it. I'm Adlar for 50 years. I was a palace advisor, but I have since been chased from the palace and am now retired. I have known the queen since she was young. She always held the people foremost in her heart. But since she took that girl Nehru in, she's changed completely. She quit listening to my advice. It was that girl who suggested I be banished. But... Yeah. We know what's going on. But I guess this is just the past 
Um, Labrino, right? That looks like puke. It really is, too. It's like shades of brown and orange and dark green that only happen when you throw up. Maku Road. Let's go save this tree. Oh. Oh, okay. Here we go. This would be the mini dungeon, then. I guess you would normally first get your sword. Had we played this one first. But to finish that thought... I do kind of really like, as clunky as it is at the same time, I like the idea of two fully separate games working together. Like Pokemon Red and Blue, or Green. And this, too. I don't know. It's just... The password system's cool, but it seems like it could be better. But then if you do make it better, then it kind of becomes cheating, right? Like... I have the red ring and the level 1 sword. That's good enough to already be, like, too powerful for the beginning of the game. So I'm very curious to see the first boss, how fast we can wreck that thing. But I know there's a password to get up to the level 3 sword. But we can't utilize that because until we beat this game. And then start a separate file in the other game, from my understanding. I think that's how it works. So, like, I have to beat Seasons twice. I don't know. So, like, analyzing it like that, if that's how it works. Um. Now, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. Like, you could kind of be bummed out, like, oh, there's this really cool password system, but there's no point whatsoever and using it because you'll have already beaten both games before you can even use them. Aside from the continuation password and transferring your rings. But I mean, like, that's good enough already, too, I guess. This is the guy Varen was talking about. Get him! Oh, it was the moblins talking. Whoops. Whatever. What's happening? What's with you? Keep clear. You were so daring and cool. Who are you? Link? What a nice name. On the Maku tree, you were brave. They said the Oracle of Ages convinced Queen Ambi to build a black tower. Maybe she made them attack me. Thank you for rescuing me. I will never ever forget it. And I promise I'll repay you when I grow up. This is about all I can do. Oh yeah, well that helps. We don't have to do the whole cave. I will repay you when I grow up. Be sure to come see me. Okay. Um, when I grow up, I'm going to be your bride. I said it! What? Why is a tree wanting to be with Link? It's weird. It's all... It all seems so foggy. I'm forgetting so much. Oh, you! You're... Link! Why are you here now? I've been waiting so long for you. Don't you remember? Hundreds of years ago, Link! You promised! I didn't do crap! When I grow up, I'll marry you. That's what you said, Link. You're, you're full of lies. 400 years I waited, but... I knew you wouldn't forget about me. Our hearts are bound across time by a thread of... What? That's not why you're here. Why won't you listen to me? Your tree. You want to talk about Varen, right? Yeah, get back to business, man. Yeah, we know what's happening. If one of impure heart gains the powers of shadow, this world will be covered in darkness. That's what this is about. To know the past is to know the present. Varen can do as she pleases if she finds dark power in the past. All will go dark. You must stop Varen and save Nehru. Must I say it again? No! Like, 800 people have told us that. I don't recall, but I think you need eight essences of time hidden in Labrena to beat. No, I don't know. It didn't work. If you can't see the truth, 
You can't handle the truth. You're a tree. What will we do? I'm at a loss. But if you find the essences, I'll remember everything. And you'll be able to stop there and please do this, Link. First, I want you to go to Yol Graveyard in the east. I can't do much, but take this. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right, there was a tree in the way, wasn't there? Alright, well, Season's Dungeon 1 item. And we have the shovel already, too. There's Furore. What's going on up here? Any Gasha seeds? Is that even still a thing, you would think? Maybe it's just like before, the tree somehow gets bigger, or things happen as you beat dungeons. Which, that's the thing, there's gonna be people giving us passwords as we go throughout this to be brought over to the other game, even though it's already beaten. Actually, I don't even think I could say it to the right people in that game, because they're not there yet, because it's not second quest activated until I beat this game and get that password. It's all just turning my head sideways. That's all good, though. There wasn't really a graveyard in the first game, was there? The seasons. Like, a little bit in that one section, but it didn't go dark like this. Oh, wait, yeah, it did! Up by that seventh dungeon. No way, it's too scary. It's pitch black inside that grave beneath the tree. Shut up! It's no good if you get scared. Besides, it might come out. The ghost. Well, there's the answer to that question. Gosh, a plot. Beneath the tree, they said. bracelet. Well, there you go. That must be the first dungeon. Hang on. Is, is this still a thing? Yes, it is. Maybe. Maybe not. I thought it was going to be a money cave. You got the graveyard key. I guess we needed that to probably reach this thing somehow. What the heck, just like before, we'll do the first dungeon. Get a little bit of everything. The backstory. Why it's ages and not seasons. Right, like I got the rod of seasons and everything in, uh, here we go. The first episode, I think. Or maybe it was part two, I can't remember. Spirit's Grave. Let's do it. Oh, is it reversed? This almost looks identical to the... Uh, I, yeah, okay, Power Bracelet it is. That's the dungeon item. It almost looked like this would be where we get our first small key, whereas in the other game it was in the right room with the two Stalfos dancing around. That would have been a nice thing. I don't know, I like that whole reversal thing. Well, that's weird. A little Rubik's Cube type thing. Nah, we gotta redo it. Okay. Maybe this is the one that's more puzzle-based. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I'm bad at solving puzzles. But 
But yeah, it's still 2021 as of me recording this. Coming up on the bitter end. And I have a pretty quiet Christmas over here. I'm just gonna go see my mom because I can't go see anybody else. I gotta get to the store later, too. I'm all out of food. Just putting it off because I know people are off for the holiday, and I just... Oops, I messed it up. No, wait. Yeah, I did. Okay. It's a very bad thing I do anymore. Like, I stare at the clock and I make up excuses why it's a bad time to go out in public. Like, I try to find the least crowded time, which of course is late at night when everybody's just being normal and asleep. But then I get on those backward schedules and that's not good. Especially when you have... Oh. Things coming up that involve being up in the daytime. Shake these things off. What does this remind me of? There's a thing, a chubby ghost thing, it's like from Paper Mario or something. Especially that charging face that it's doing. Alright, what the heck? Do we use this? Oh no. It's not like those red jellies where you can just mash a million buttons and shake them off. These things stick to you no matter what you do. Oh, there you go. It doesn't matter anyway. The red ring is already... I don't think there was a reason to be back. But yeah, the good thing about doing these videos, the way I'm doing it, it takes forever to render them. And so, while it renders, I can do my getting ready for the day. And then when I go to upload it, that takes a, a little over an hour, too. So while that's happening, I'll go out and run errands. I don't know why I'm talking about that. I, I guess I just don't really have much to say this time. we go. It does kind of feel like, though, not to be uh, purposely looking for it, but it feels like the beginning of the other game was paced better. But then again, I don't remember when we got our first... Well, yeah, I do. It was right away. The mayor gave us a gosh of seed. Unless I just didn't go in every house in Lina City. Um, well, how the heck are we gonna get over there, though? Ask a dumb question, get an obvious answer. Okay, we know where to bring this, then. Back to the mini boss, and that's got to lead to the big key. Definitely was a little bit more puzzly than the first dungeon of the other game. But yeah, I'll try to hold off looking at any kind of walkthrough for this one until I really get stuck, I guess. The problem is that just increases the odds of things taking longer. And more stupidity on my part, that's just painful. It's like going into a test without studying, really. There it is.
I'm curious what unique items we will find in this. Because as of right now, I do not know. It does make you wonder, though, if, uh, this day and age where things are not so peripheral, like, N Nintendo always had an accompanying Game Boy to go with their main console, and the Switch has kind of changed that a little bit. So they could do the Pokemon thing or something like this. Or even just stupid crap, where, like, you plug in the Game Boy Advance to the GameCube and something happens. What do we got here? Oh, hey, this dude! Ichibod Clay! Oh, it's from Clay Fighter. Wow. That's nice, though. Just dip in, dip out, be done with it. Oh, you know who we didn't go check in? Bippin' and Blossom. And Lonk. Question is, are they in the past or the present? Little, I guess, female Maku tree leaves? Hear an essence echoing in the western woods. Can you go there? Well, hang on. There's power braces and stuff like this ghost that was trapped up here. Maple. No, she's gonna want something in this game too, and we don't have it. Someone finally came. This headstone blocks my path to the afterlife. I'm actually below here, all right? must have moved my headstone. That means I can move on to the afterworld. My heart lifts at the thought of it. Thanks. What did that even do? Hmm, I say. You came out since I... Moving on, I don't need this anymore. Got the Poe Clock. It lightens the heart. It had a symbol like it's a trade quest thing. I wonder if that's what Maple wants. Yeah, it's in... a quest item menu, so... Well, hang on. Wasn't there something else with the power bracelet that we could do? Oh, hey, this guy. He's got to be a password dude. Do you believe what you see? If you do... I'll teach you something, do you? Yes. In Hollow Drum's graveyard, there is but one grave with no flowers. If you tell the one inside the grave the secret I'm about to tell you, something good will happen, understand? Yeah, the secret is... Okay, I'll write that down real quick anyway. Got it, yep. Good luck. What the heck, crow knocking me in the thing? Um, I did look up a list of names in both games of characters, and I only wrote down the ones that I know I would want to do, which is the increased sword, increased shield, and an extra heart container, and it turns out that ghost is the heart container one. But of course it's for seasons, which we already beat, so what the heck's the point? Unless I play seasons again. <laughs> After beating this. Tango! Alright. Looks like rocks, feather type stuff again. I guess we've done enough for an episode. Let's just kind of see if we can find Bippin' and Blossom's house. A well, shop might have something. Nope. Well, that's right, too, with the strange flute. I think that carries over since I used the password. 
Oh, this guy's all about Tangle. Let's see what's next. Activate this warp. I shouldn't do this because I'm just probably just bleeding into next episode kind of stuff, but... Magical Boomerang. Now, I thought I read that each game had different items and stuff. But is it really only just a handful of different things and the rest of it's the same? Because that does kind of put a damper on it because it is, at that point, just being like, oh, yeah, replaying the same thing. But... We can't go into it like that. Folk have been vanishing and turning to stone without warning. What's happening? Who did it? I'm Plen, the mayor here in Lena City. Lena has a long history reaching back hundreds of years. Back then it was Lena Village, not a city. Hmm. Hookshot? What the heck else is gonna get you over to that chest? What kind of candy's never on time? Chocolate! Isn't that a sweet joke? That joke goes against our aesthetics, you know. <laughs> what? Alright. What's going on? My grandson has turned to stone. How? Why? Wake up, call me grandma again. That would be weird, if you saw that happen in real life. The bird's hut is where the toilet hand was in the past. What does that mean? And who's that? That looks like a password person. I'm, I'm, oh, you're the Ocarina of Time dog lady. Is that Richard? My dog is much cuter than that dog, but my dog is very shy. Do you know of a good way to hide its face? What? I thought I could maybe pick it up. Okay, so Seasons was... This is where we gotta go, clearly, so we're not doing that just yet. We haven't checked this out in this time. Present day, I guess it is. It's blocked off anyway, alright. But, uh, yeah, Seasons seem to kind of be more all about Zelda 1 stuff. And this game seems to have Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask characters throughout the town. I'm Troy. In my younger days, I traveled the world and saw many animals. Even at my age, I'm quite dedicated. You show promise if you come to hear me speak. Just between us, I've seen an animal called Ricky. I can jump small holes and cliffs. Just moving toward them, yeah. But I think we're permanently moosh still. I think that's part of the password that you type in, is what animal buddy you chose. Because I was going to choose someone different, but I don't think I can. That's Lonk? What? It's been too long. I've moved to the city. It's nice to see a familiar face. Link, we meet again. Do you remember naming our son Lonk? He's quite well. Get over here, boy. Look at me when I'm talking to you, son. The heck? You're Link? I'm Lonk! No way! Well, what's your purpose? Why did we make you grow up in the first place? It's too true to real life, man. All this grandiose stuff that you spend time for and for what? A very empty payoff. The anhedonic feeling. 